Don't think that I am against you When I laugh at crazy things that you say Welcome to Smarter Than That, where we do science experiments to explain scientific concepts in a fun way. Today's experiment is really short and to the point. We're gonna see how fire leads to suction that leads to a really really cool party trick yes this is another cool party trick that you could add to your arsenal to impress your friends in your nerdiness or geekiness or just pure scientific curiosity so what do you need for this experiment obviously a lit candle or a candle with anything to light it with you need a plate, preferably a flat plate, so that you can see the effect. And you need a glass. You really should use a clear glass so you can see it. But any kind of glass would do, as long as it doesn't have cracks in it. And any kind of liquid. I will use today milk, because it's just nice to see. And I'm also going to show you um, the trick with a little bit of dyed water so you can see it better. But you really, really can use anything you want. If you're in a party and you have some punch and you feel like impressing your friends, you can do the same with anything. Um, so uh, really, before I uh, ow, melt this thing on my finger, which I just did, let's start. So first you take the plate and you pour the liquid onto it. I'm using milk here so that you can see the effect, but again, this can work with any kind of liquid. You light the candle, and you let the candle float on top of your liquid, or just stand in the middle. It doesn't matter as long as it keeps burning. As we all know, fire feeds on oxygen. In the room, when it's open, then there's plenty of oxygen to feed the fire. When we take the cup and cover our little candle with the milk on the bottom, we are closing the area from which the fire can feed off the oxygen. The fire then eats up all the oxygen in the cup and dies. But in the process, we eliminate the molecules of oxygen from within our glass. Then something has to replace them, and since the glass is standing on top of the liquid, the liquid is being sucked inside. When we release the cup, the air goes back inside and now the liquid is free to behave like a liquid again and float on top of our plate. So now just to make sure that you see it better, and because it's also very cool, I'm using dyed water. You can just take a look and see how the fire is consuming the oxygen molecules inside my glass and in the process sucking up all the liquid, or most of the liquid, away from the plate. In future experiments, we're going to use this principle to create our own little vacuum. This is not precisely, exactly, all vacuum, but it's close enough to a kitchen experiment. And it's also really cool to watch, and you can eat it, which are the two basic principles of a really cool science experiment. So, glass and water plus fire equals no air inside suction. Yay, fun! It's all really, really fun. Remember this experiment when we do the others, we're gonna link right to it. And as always, if you have any more questions or if you wanna know the method, the tools, everything else and resources, go on to the website, www.smarterthanthat.com. And if you have any questions or suggestions for more experiments, more things you want me to look into and find a way to demonstrate in a fun way, please write to me, experiments at smarterthanthat.com. Common physics like my fire. Woo!